Hey, 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 it's your man David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2017 Ram 1500 Sport in flame red, powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a crew cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back. Come to the front here, you'll have projector style halogen headlamps light up the road in front of you with high beams. LED turn signals, those are also the running lights. Two fog lamps on the front bumper. Front and rear bumpers are color matching and part of the grille is color matching too with chrome inserts and it looks very nice. There's mud flaps behind all four tires. Chrome running boards on both sides of this truck which makes it that much easier to get inside the interior. This is running on 20 inch rims, beautiful rims. And the tires are Goodyear Wrangler mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on there you'll surely have lots of traction both driver and passenger side door mirrors have built-in led turns to the lights these are flip up tow mirrors you can easily flip them down just like that if you don't want them up otherwise you can flip them up like this they are break away and they are heated mirrors as well this does have the proximity key fob i have it in my pocket right now all you got to do is put your hand around the door handle like this the RAM will sense the fob is near and I'll unlock the doors for you. Or you press that button right there to lock up the RAM when you're done with it. Color matching door handles on the outside on all four doors. Here's the driver's side door panel. There's storage down below with two big cup holders. Storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Driver and passenger side windows up front are automatic. Dark chrome styling touches on all the doors. And there's chrome door handles on the inside on all four doors too. This has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. Dimmer knob there, that button there will turn on the box lights. Directional air vent which you can close and open. Handle right here so you the driver can easily get inside this truck. This has a leather wrapped steering wheel, feels great in your hands. This is a tilt steering wheel too. This does have power adjustable pedals. You can move the pedals closer or further away from your feet just by using those buttons right there. The driver's seat is fully powered with lumbar support. The seats are very comfortable to sit in and nice to touch. These are leather seats, adjustable headrests on the front seats, and this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall of a person you are, you can adjust the seatbelt height to most comfortable inside this Ram truck. Nice materials in the middle here for arms to rest on. There's a nice big Ram badge right there. Open this up, there's a change holder, and there's also a USB port and an auxiliary port in here. Another USB port, great for charging devices plug anything into these areas and you can play music through the Alpine sound system. And if you have cords coming out of here, run them along the sides so when you close the lid, it doesn't crush your cords, grab a lower. There's even more storage space down there and there's a ledge there for some pens. Pocket on the side of the middle console right here. There is a cell phone holder, a 12 volt DC power outlet, lots of space in the middle here for many different things. And there's two big cup holders with bubbles to hold your cups into place. So they don't fall over and there's a large storage compartment right there as well there's an auto dimming rear view mirror and this also has led interior lighting throughout all right there's storage down below storage in the middle nice place for an arm power window switch looking very nice convenience handle on this side so your passenger can easily get into the back seat area here. There's tons of foot room in the back seat area, along with plenty of headroom. Extra speakers up top connected to the Alpine sound system. Hooks up above, so if you want to hang out nice clothing, you can easily do that. In case you're going to a nice event, you wouldn't want your clothes to get a little wrinkled. Adjustable headrest in the back seats too. Fold down armrests here in the middle with two big cup holders. And there's two more cup holders down below. The seats do flip up like so. And there's a fold out gate here. You can put things underneath or on top for storage. Easily flip it back like this if you're not using it. And there's tons of storage space underneath. And there's a clip here so you clip this up and secure it. There's LED lights built in the bottom of the seats. They light up the feet area for you at nighttime so you can see where your feet are. There's a 12 volt DC power outlet right here. Nice RAM badge and directional air vents which you can easily close and open. And there's a pocket on the back of the driver's seat. On the floor, there are insulated, removable in-floor storage areas. You put ice in here, keep cans of Coke, bottles of water cold, and if it gets dirty, you can remove it and clean it. And when there's mats laid out back here, they stay nice and hidden underneath the mats. The 
there are ram boxes built into both sides of the box they unlock and lock when you hit the buttons on the key fob which is really cool it is unlocked right now so we can push this in like so and there's convenience lights on both sides so you can see what you're doing at nighttime it says ram box right there there's tons of space in here for many different things and the box lights are just up there come to the back this has led tail lamps on the back dual exhaust tips out the back with chrome around them spot for a trailer hitch down below here with connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this ram 1500 the dots on the back bumper are rear park sense parking sensors you'll also find dots like that on the front bumper as well because this does have front park sense parking sensors and there's a back of camera built into the tailgate handle right here this does have spray and bed liner and there's hooks in all four corners so you tie down your load so you won't lose anything when you're driving down the highway and this does have a new cover so you can keep anything in the box out of sight and secure and there's also led box lights down in here as well so you have that extra lighting and this is a locking tailgate press the lock button on the key fob all four doors will lock including the tailgate and there's a step right here always have to have a step just push it down like that and it comes out it is by amp research and you can easily step up to the back of the ram like so and then you can just push this back in if you're not using it I'll show you the other side of the back seat area here. Storage down below, storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm, power window switch, great style. Convenience handle right here for your passengers. Pocket on the back of the passenger seat too. Insulated, removable, in-floor storage area. This side also flips up like so. Got the LED light there. And you have the fold-out gate here. So you can put things underneath or on top for storage. There's cutouts in the middle here for the cup holders, which I think is a clever touch. And this easily folds back like so. And underneath here is a subwoofer for the Alpine sound system, adding to the exceptional sound quality. Boom, you can secure it like that. And you can fold this back down. Front passenger side here, you can unlock all the doors. You have the key fob on you by putting your hand around the passenger door handle just like this. Always press that black button to lock up the RAM when you're done with it. Storage down below with two big cup holders, storage in the middle. Power locks, power window switch, looking good. Passenger seat is fully powered with lumbar support as well. And underneath the passenger seat are the tire treaty tools, which allows for easy access. There's airbags built into the front seats for safety. There's side curtain airbags, driver and passenger side airbags, and more. There's a lower glove box here with some goodies in there for you. There's an upper glove box here with a convenience light. Spot for some pens or packs of gum, directional air vent, which you can close and open. And of course, there's a pocket on this side of the middle console as well. And of course, a convenience handle here for the front passenger. Let's hop inside and take a closer look right now. This is the proximity key fob. There's a nice RAM badge on the back. And there's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button. And this does have remote start. Press this button twice. The doors will lock and the truck will start right up. Boom, just like that. And you put your hand around either the driver or passenger side door handles to unlock the truck to get inside or you just press the unlock button here just like this and there's also a regular key right here which you can use to unlock and lock the ram boxes you can keep the key fob in your pocket or you can put it down below here in this little storage area put your phone on the brake down below like so go over to the side here and press the push button start button and i'll get you past the remote start system there's an lcd driver information center screen in the middle and good looking gauges and this truck only has 10,203 kilometers on it not too bad so using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here we can go through the driver information center screen first thing you'll see is that there is a digital speedometer which you can change in miles per hour if you're going to the states you have your vehicle info area it tells you your engine hours tire pressures for all four tires transmission temperature oil temperature oil life full-on gauge summary and back to your engine hours. You have your fuel economy page here. It tells you your fuel range on your tank of fuel, your current liters per 100 kilometers, your average liters per 100 kilometers. Hold this button here and you can easily reset that. There you go. You have a trip A calculator and a trip B calculator. Both of them tell you how far you've driven, your average fuel economy, average vehicle speed, and the time and driving for. Hold this button here. You can reset one or both of those. Trailer tow area lets you know what the gain is set at. Audio center lets you know what's playing on your media. Message center in case this truck wants to tell you something. Screen set up here so you customize the screen, make it more of your own. There's a compass, outside thermometer, some blank spaces. Go in the settings. 
here, screen setup, have it say what you want it to say. And back to your digital speedometer. And if you open up any door on this truck, it will let you know which door on the truck is opened. It has a nice big ram badge in the middle here with of course a horn. It is a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right, gear selection buttons right there. This does have voice recognition. Cancel. Cancel. Using voice recognition, you can set the temperature on the climate control, which is super cool. And if a call comes through Bluetooth, you can answer the call by pressing that button right there. And this does have the Alpine sound system, right? There's a logo for that. So great sound quality through the speakers. Oh, it sounds so good. You know what? This truck is fine. Oh, so nice. Oh, it sounds so good. Turn it back down, just like this. So this is the touchscreen Uconnect system. You direct tune into a specific radio station, just like that. It tells you the song and the artist in the middle of the screen. Press the audio button here, adjust to your balance fade, equalizer, surround sound mode, speed adjusted volume, and more. Access to a mini map, connected GPS navigation there. You can set hold of one of these boxes with your finger and you can easily set a preset. This has AM, FM radio, and Sirius XM. There's still plastic on the screen. You can be the one to remove that plastic, which is super cool. The info ball up top here tells you the time, compass, outside thermometer. It'll also tell you if you have your heated seats or ventilated seats on too, and what the temperatures are set at on the climate control if it's on. Media button here, so you have something plugged into the USB port, the auxiliary port, a Bluetooth device connected, go here and you can listen to music through those areas. Touchscreen controls here for the driver and passenger, heated and ventilated seats, the heated steering wheel, the mirror dimmer, and you can also access the back of the camera without this truck being in reverse. You connect app, showing you all the cool stuff that you have. Climate here, so we can turn it on. Just where you want the air to go. Adjust your fan speed. You can sync and unsync the temperatures. Set the temperature with just your finger. Turn on air conditioning, rear window defroster. There is so much you can do with this system. GPS navigation area here. View the map. Gives you a great view of where you are. You can zoom in and you zoom out on the map. Go menu. Go where to. Search up points of interest. Put in an address and so much more. Bluetooth area here. Pair of phone make hands free calls. You can pair more than one device. Everything you do on your phone make a call. You do hands-free on touchscreen new connect system or right here piano black styling touches right here dark chrome styling touches directional air vents which you can easily adjust and you can close and open these put this back on the radio there turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it touch with your finger it comes back on you have your hazards back button to help you guide through your system here tuning knob browse button of course the volume knob and a mute button physical controls for the climate control this does have dual climate control with the auto feature which allows the ram to adjust your climate control for you adjust your fan speed very easily adjust temperatures and more trailer brake controller trashy control tool slash haul mode if i put this truck into reverse the back of camera appears on the touchscreen system here giving you a great view of where you are and if i turn the wheel it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up and on the screen here, that also shows up your front and rear park sense parking sensors. This will warn you if you're getting close to an object front or behind you. And you'll also hear audible beeps as you get closer to an object. And you can turn off the front and rear park sense parking sensors just by using these buttons here. Quick access, heated and ventilated seats button and the heated steering wheel. 115 volt AC power outlet spot for some pens or packs of gums. So now you have two spots. Of course, rotary style gear shifter, very out of the way, very easy to use. Push button four wheel drive with four WD auto. Tons of visibility out the front window. Fold down sun visors here with convenience lights and convenience mirrors. These are break away and they do slide out. So what I just did with the driver's side sun visor, you can do on the passenger sun visor as well. Definitely come check out this Ram 1500 sometime soon. It's absolutely stunning and comfortable. It's the 2017 Ram 1500 Sport in flame red, powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a crew cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back. It has Ram boxes, front and rear park sense parking sensors with backup camera, GPS navigation, the Alpine sound system, and so much more. Come and see if this is going to be your next truck. Iron Man David, and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.